the channel super excited to be making videos again uh, recently just made some major upgrades to the channel with some camera equipment things like that so hopefully I'm gonna be able to make some videos that are more enjoyable to watch and uh, more insightful as far as different products and gear that I'm reviewing so today if you haven't noticed already we're gonna be reviewing a roof rack this is a great budget option for your fifth gen forerunner uh, there's lots of roof racks out there on the market. Some of them are better than others and honestly it just comes down to what your needs are and what your budget is, right? So, um, you know, we recently just had a baby a little over a month ago, so budget was tight for us and I was on a quest to find the best roof rack I could find for the cheapest price. So, uh, and we're talking about brand new shipped to your door. Um, obviously Facebook Marketplace can be a great option to get some name brand racks as well. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on an Amazon rack specifically. I do have an affiliate link to this rack listed below. I do get a little bit of a kickback if you guys order through that link. So if you like this rack, you like the review, do me a little bit of favor, purchase through that link. You know, not a big deal if you guys don't like it or whatnot. There's lots of other racks out there. but. I just wanted to, to show you my honest thoughts and opinions on this rack because honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. So let's get into it. All right guys, so I know you wanna see what it looks like and all that. I'll sprinkle in some B-roll here and there to show you what it looks like. But first I wanted to go over two major issues I had with the roof rack straight out of the gate. Uh, the first one being, this is advertised that you need to drill to install. So. I know that's a pretty big red flag for most guys out there. We don't want to be drilling into our nice new forerunners. So um, I actually have a solution that made it so I didn't have to drill. So I'll show you guys what that solution is here later in the video. But um, that was the first issue. Second is the powder coating. It's not high-end powder coating. Uh, I read a lot of things on forums and groups about this rack having rust issues, chipping, you know, all that. I haven't personally had any issues really outside of a couple chips that just were from shipping. Uh, so I touched those up and I haven't had any rest issues, but it is garage kept. I live in California, so it's pretty dry. Um, but also that is a pretty common issue with other racks. I've heard about it with Baja racks, Gobi racks. Um, you know, it just seems to be a lot of these manufacturers are using pretty low end powder coating techniques anyways. So that wasn't a huge deal breaker for me. I fully expect to have to repaint this rack in a couple years, um, but that's just me coming to terms with it. It's cheap enough, it does exactly what I need it to do. It looks good, so I'm okay pulling it off You know, once a year to repaint it if I have to. So those are the two only issues I've had. Let's, uh, let's talk about some of the good features. So I'm just looking at the listing description here on Amazon. The seller is Hook Road, so it's, you know, actual, the branded seller on Amazon. The few things that I like about this, really the main deciding factor on this rack versus other similar racks on Amazon was the construction type. The side panels are like C-channel versus just one, one piece. Like if you think about a Prince rack, for example, their side panels are, you know, just one, one piece. They use pretty thick gauge 
material with their racks, but the other Amazon alter alternatives that kind of copy the Princeu style, they're very thin and flimsy. So I was worried about rooftop tents and things like that on top. So that's why I chose this one. It actually has C-channel and it's made of steel. Um, the side panels are. So to me, it's way, it exceeds my expectations as far as how heavy duty it is, right? So I think load capacity for static weight said over 800 pounds. So that was kind of the, the deciding factor between this one and the other ones. Um, the crossbars are T-slot. They have two T-slot grooves on each crossbar and they're made out of aluminum. So saves some weight there. Um, I think it's the standard, what is it? Six millimeter or eight millimeter T-slot um, channel. So that's a plus. The other thing is it has light bar cutouts. So in the front, you have a single row light bar cutout. In the rear, it has what looks like a cutout for a chase bar. So um, I might be playing with that here in the future, but it definitely has mounting points and then it is recessed to, to accommodate what looks like a chase bar or a light bar. So I really did like that. The other thing is it's modular, uh, saves with shipping costs and everything there. Um, but it is a bolt together roof rack. So depending on, you know, comparing it to a Gobi or whatever, it's not a fully welded roof rack. And then just looking at the description here, it's three inches thick. So it's saying it adds 3.1 inches to the overall height of your vehicle. I have a three inch lift 33s uh, and it fits in the garage. No problem. The rack itself weighs around 70, 79 pounds is what it's saying. And then Hook Road, the brand, makes additional things like w the rear window molly racks, the exterior racks, they make those. They also have ladders and stuff. I haven't purchased those at all. I can't attest to how those work, but overall I've been very pleased with the rack and the construction there. So I'm assuming it's probably similar quality. But then, like I already mentioned too, it does advertise that it needs drilling to install. It outlines those steps on the listing. Um, but like I said, I'll show you the alternative to that. So you do not have to drill into your vehicle to install this roof rack. So this is the front foot that they say you have to drill to install. But what I did was I got some of that super high strength construction 3M sticky tape put it on the bottom, I cleaned it really good, put it on the bottom, stuck that on, and then I bolted everything down and it kind of sandwiched it on. So this is not going anywhere, super strong. I ran a rooftop tent and everything with it, so um, it's been tested and proven. But then the two back ones, the foot there, and then on the back, those just go into the factory slots and these are nice machined aluminum um, little blocks that they use. So overall, really happy with this rack. You can see here and in the B-roll, it's a C-channel rack versus just having you know one, one side piece, you have a full C-channel. So that adds a lot of strength and rigidity. So anyways, that's it for the roof rack. A little sneak peek on the uh, rest of the build here. Yes, I am running 16 inch wheels. So if you guys want to know how I did that, maybe you'll have to stay tuned for the next one. But uh, otherwise, if you guys liked this video, please uh, make sure to like and subscribe, share it with your friend. Um, but until next time, we'll see you.